Hey guys, I'm Saurav. Welcome to the channel. In today's video, I will be talking about picture profiles. Now, I will be covering what are picture profiles, how to use it as a photographer, as a videographer, what are the benefits of picture profiles. It's going to be a short video, but a very helpful one for you all, right? So, without wasting any time, Let's get started. Before moving to the actual video, there's a small announcement, guys. I've actually made a new channel where I'll be posting comedy related content. So if you're into such content, please subscribe to the channel. Your support would be very nice. I will keep posting content regularly even on that channel, right? So sorry for that little bit of self promotion. Now, finally, let's get started. So the first important question is sort of what are picture profiles? So you use presets while editing, right? That is exactly the same thing, but picture profiles are the presets in camera. So when you use any picture profile, the camera is doing all the processing in the camera. So when you change your picture profiles, the images look different, right? Now, as you can see, the images are shot in the same lighting condition using the same settings, but they look different just because of different picture profiles applied. Now, picture profiles behave differently in terms of JPEG and in terms of RAW. If you are shooting JPEG and you use any particular picture profile, then you can't change the picture profile in post processing. There is very less flexibility to post process the JPEG. But that's not the case with a RAW file. Now, as you can see, I have used a portrait picture profile for taking this shot and I shot it in RAW format. Now, when I open it in Lightroom, it gets converted into DNG, but now I have the flexibility to change the color profile. So even though I'm using a particular picture profile in camera, I still have the flexibility to change it in post processing if I don't like the result. But just a small thing, otherwise you will get confused. Even if you're shooting in RAW, what you will see on the camera screen will actually be the JPEG preview of the RAW file and hence contain all the data. The RAW file actually is unaffected, but it contains the data of the picture profile used and that's why it is able to give you that particular JPEG preview. So don't be confused by that. Certain cameras also allow you to change the properties of picture profile like contrast, clarity, sharpening. So suppose you want to shoot monochrome, but you want to change the clarity or the sharpening. You can still do that. Now, I hope you have understood what picture profiles are. The question is, why should you use it while taking photos? I will give you a scenario. Suppose I want to shoot an image and I know that I want to convert it in black and white later in post processing. Then I will use a black and white picture profile. Reason for that is it gets easier to visualize. Obviously, I'm going to change it in post processing. But when I'm shooting, if I get to see the preview in black and white, it just helps the process of taking photos a lot easier. So that is why I would use picture profile. You might use it for a completely different reason. Maybe you're looking for a vibrant result. Maybe you're going for a different look or maybe you're shooting JPEG and you're using a flat picture profile so you have a bit of flexibility in post processing. So there are a lot of reasons why a person would use picture profiles. Personally, I shoot all my photos in standard picture profile because I do all the editing myself and I want all control over my raw files. But again, as I said, if I'm shooting black and white, I will use the monochrome picture profile. But now that was all about photos. Things are a bit different while shooting videos. All the videos I shoot, I shoot in flat picture profile. Even now the video I'm shooting, I shoot in flat picture profile. The reason for that is very obvious. Flat video is actually very flat. Now, what does that mean? It has very less contrast and less saturation. Now, some people might think, then why do you shoot something that doesn't look good? But the reason for that is same. When you shoot in RAW, the RAW files don't look as good as the JPEGs, but you have the flexibility to edit them. Same is the case with flat video. Obviously, it's not as good as raw video, but you still get more flexibility, more dynamic range, and it takes very less time to make flat videos look good. You just have to play with shadows and highlights, a bit of curves, and you're good to go. My camera doesn't allow me to shoot internal log. That's why I don't shoot in log, but some people also shoot in log format, and that's slightly a step up from a flat picture profile. Please don't shoot in standard picture profile. Even if you're shooting in standard, make sure you decrease the contrast and then shoot otherwise it will be a problem for you in post processing do not go for any other picture profile like vibrant portrait or landscape while shooting videos because the flexibility you get in photos you don't get those in videos start shooting in flat as i said the editing process is not very difficult once you get used to it it's a matter of few minutes so that's it from this video guys i hope you liked the video it was a short one but i hope you enjoyed it and if you did press the like button if you're new to the channel and you want more such content make sure you hit that subscribe button i'll talk to you guys in the next one bye